So I was, uh, I was, I was asking Chris this also, but um, when uh, when you're working on something that's you know sci-fi or. Uh, is there a specific kind of instrument that, that you think of when you're working on something like that? You mean, a show like Musical being? instrument. Like, is there, is there something that... that because know, it's a supernatural uh, show? Yeah, yeah, there are specific instruments that... Um, that well, you, I, I really try to, you know, when I start the... Uh, there's a camera there. <laughs> there's a camera there. <laughs> When I start, when I start uh, being human because of, of the, the true blood thing, even even being human was a huge show in England. I really want to be aware that I don't want to be true blood. I really were aware that was more that than I didn't think about an instrument. I just want to say, oh, I have to try to avoid cellos because all, it's all about cellos. The guy's a, he's he's super good, but he, he used cellos, so I really try to get away from that. So that was my answer to that question. Um. Uh, what is uh, what's your inspiration um, for for like working on this kind of a uh, working on shows like that? Like, where do you find your inspiration? Well, I find I always find that that script are only words on paper. Sorry, guys, the word script. I love script, but for me, it doesn't it, it doesn't uh, give me ideas at all. Script. It's when I see the editing, when I see the way it's shot, the way, the way it's light. Oh, now I got I got it. On being a man, I, I wrote three uh, to five um, team before having seen any images. But as soon as I, I said, I was so right because as soon as I, the, the, I received the first show, I said I was right on the money. That's that's what I that's what I want to try to to uh, to give as urban sound. And slowly the. You know, because that's the way a show works. You know, with any networks, so sometimes they want, oh, we want bigger, we want bigger, we want bigger. And I was like, you know, orchestra sound. And I said, oh, gee, what I, I, I want to keep my sound because, you know, if you don't stop them, every show's going to be sound the same. So I have to work, but I think I achieved something cool. But that's, it. I, have, I really have a sound for, a, I knew what I was doing. Basically, as the answer. Are there uh, are there any movies that, that you've seen where, where the music has just made made you go like wow I you know I I want to be able to do uh, you know oh, something so like many that. yeah anything so in particular. Uh, lately, well, lately I saw Francis Ha. I don't know if you saw this a small movie with Greta Gerwig. It was cute because it was French music music from the 60s, and I find so funny uh, music from uh, all uh, François Truffaut movies, but. Uh, a lot of things. I saw this movie, uh, Sleeper, super good score. And there's so much, so many times I watch a movie and I say, this is, this is so good. Honey, okay, we go uh, after the movie, no, no, go to bed. <laughs> I just, it, sometimes it gives you, it gives you ideas and you, you get, oh, I just want to go and write, write music. But there's a lot of uh, Sleeper. There's a, every, every six months I see a movie and I say, shit, this is a great job. <laughs> Do you, do you feel like some of your work maybe extrapolates from what you see? Uh, like you just said, sleepers give you tons of ideas. Like, are you, well, are you extrapolating every time you watch a movie? And does it, you, it, know, you, you don't want to. You, 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 you don't want to. You, you, you don't want to be a copycat. It's just because sometimes you felt. You know, it's funny. Sometimes you, you hear things like, "I gee, I did something in the same alley before," and sometimes it's just because it's uh, it. Uh, how can I? It's a, it's an excitement. You love you love music. You see other people, and it, it just gives you the, the the fun back to go back to work, and you find other things. It's just like a you know, it's like a big stimulation. How did you get into doing uh, music for uh, for film and movies uh, for movies and that TV? Um, I was in a band. I was a mini pop star, <laughs> and um, this guy was. Um, it was, a, it was a film student and he said, hey, um, I've got a, a short movie, do you want to do it? And I said, of course, I'm going to try because I love movie, but I, I never thought I'd, you know, I didn't even know it was a job at the time that I could do this in life. And I, I did that and this, the guy did, uh, you know, he finished his course and then he got into commercial. I, I wrote Jingle because, you know, we paid a gear and then whoops, uh, we got a TV series and then I had a TV series produced by Ridley Scott and Tony Scott was shot in Montreal and, and they're looking for a composer and they didn't find, they were not happy and he said, no, no, and the same guy who saw me at the time, he was doing one episode there and I sent my demo and they, they loved me, they hired me and since I never stopped so I've been lucky, there's no wood. Yeah. <laughs>
that's it. That's how I started by fluke. And uh, but I study music. But it's as I used to say, uh, you have to love music, but you have to love TV show, cinema, a lot, a lot, a lot. Because music, it's something else. But doing music for show, for TV show, for supernatural, you have to dig the thing a lot because. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I kind of wanted you to talk about the evolution of the characters musically and being human. Uh, sorry, say that again. Uh, the, the evolution of the characters musically and being human. Of all the characters, of one character. Yeah, no, I, I know you have your favorite. Yeah, I've got Aiden. I love that. But uh, even Josh, Josh evolved because I started with only with. Um, that's another time I tried to avoid other, other other shows. So I really tried just to use uh, Dubro. Uh, Dobro guitar, you know, uh, you know, uh, more south sound, yeah. and and tr and try to stay more uh, on early sound with him, and it, it, it evolved a lot because then I used my uh, my glissantar, my ten ten string instrument, and I just tried to stay in this family of instruments for him, compared to Aiden, which is electric bass, two electric bass, and you, I mean, I'm sure you do this, but I mean. That's kind of a rugged sound. Do you ever combine that kind of a rugged sound with maybe like an orchestra background? Yeah, I do this. That's because sometimes the show the show talk to you when you when you do music for for TV show for for, for drama whatever the show talk to you you have to listen and at, at a point if if the if the action is being bigger you have to get and sometimes the bro like okay I can do it I need something and and sometimes that's the opportunity to to make something more interesting musically to get your own sound and to because you you mix two things that you know you, you didn't uh, expect to and by flute but sometimes that's the best way to uh, to get something new. It was a good question, or it was a good answer. Yeah, it was a great answer. All right, solid.